First of all, thank you for having me on the show. I had a hard time uh, thinking about uh, one invention that I wish didn't exist. Stickers on fruit, I don't really think that's big enough. I chose uh, electronic billboards, which I think is what you were shooting for anyway, Deidre. Yeah, electronic billboards are billboards, but electronic. So they're just as shitty, obnoxious, and a stain on the landscape as say a normal billboard is but they're uh, a lot more of a waste of energy and uh, a lot more of uh, a lot more obnoxious really but going back to the video that you had earlier where you talked about the formation of elements in stars which is really cool think back to that uh, think back to the creation of the solar system we have you know all of these wonderful elements that are accumulating around the Sun in the dust uh, they eventually settle into planets uh, they settle into our planet, uh, the earth cools, uh, life evolves, um, humans appear on the scene, build our uh, knowledge, uh, and come up with pretty cool ideas, pretty bad ideas, and then uh, we use uh, that knowledge and all these wonderful elements that we found in the world around us and we make a contraption that sells you uh, trinkets and horseshit. And I think that's a pretty good summary of what electronic billboards are. So I mentioned something about them wasting more energy. Now I don't have the numbers on this. It may be that um, we can compare, you know, running an electronic billboard every day indefinitely to the energy it takes to uh, roll an immense boulder up a hill for eternity or the energy that it takes for birds uh, to pluck out your intestines in perpetuity. I, so I'm not, I, again, I don't have the numbers, but that's probably a, a pretty good comparison. Yeah, the other thing is, uh, whenever I've seen an electronic billboard, either back home or here, they run pretty much at all hours, which means that, you know, fossil fuels are burned every day so that you can get an image of a uh, scantily clad uh, woman selling you bottled water four o'clock in the morning. That's pretty much the best thing that these things produce, which is to say they're shit. So ultimately, there are larger problems in the world, bigger fish to fry. But I thought that that would be a whimsical symptom of problems in society that we could all hate. Uh, now I ask Ted a question. So my question is, if you could choose an inanimate object that you could talk to, what would you ask it and what do you think would be its response?